Good day, everyone. Uh, before we start, we have a disclosure. Please read the disclosure uh, and uh, let's go ahead and do it. I have uh, today, uh, the traders asked me to come back at two o'clock because it's an FOMC today. And, uh, and they like me to come back and uh, cover a little bit on uh, today's, uh, now it's going to be ignited. So you are very welcome. I'm extremely busy and um, but I'm not going to let my traders down. Uh, so uh, we are going to monitor. I have turned off all the auto trades and now they are starting again. And you're going to see uh, the market immediately after the 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 uh, uh, the news now is out and uh, should be out. I have not been paying attention and um, we will see how those auto trades going to function. And uh, you can see also the ES is a start going like a Christmas tree here, a blinking. And um, oh man. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. Everything is uh, flying. Um, we can see the ES, NASDAQ, down zones, and uh, now they get in the new signal. Uh, also, we can see uh, the auto trade. Uh, they start really kicking and um, this is the moment where most of the traders wait on those hours uh, to to really kick it and um, we can see i'm sorry I, i'm all over the place here i apologize um You're going to be getting a lot of uh, new signal uh, uh, on the side here, and um, you're very welcome to it. And uh, NASDAQ, CL, everything now is taken off. One direction, uh, the, the uh, swing trading, we just started the swing trading immediately. We have 400 on the ES, NASDAQ, YM, they're all into the green. And I'm sorry, guys. I'm uh, I'm trying to catch up with everything. We were extremely busy today. This is amazing, and now we are um, synchronizing all the signals because I closed Ninja Trader and then open it, and then synchronizing all the signals. And uh, we should uh, start getting a new, and I've been hammered with emails. Okay. Uh, um, okay, you know, guys, I'm going to leave you for a few seconds on those one here. And um, um, I mean, ES, NASDAQ, down zones, um, 6E, uh, the CL has not synchronized uh, to new signal yet. So there is a new signal. When you close Ninja Trader and you open, it has to synchronize with the new signal. So there is no CL and new signal. So we're hoping uh, that we're going to get the new signal very soon. 
and then uh, it will synchronize with the new uh, chart. Uh, for the CL trader, or maybe we need to look at the ES. Okay. This market is going to go up and down very fast, guys. You have to be very light-handed. And you're going to see a really wild ride now. Um, today, I couldn't do that. But maybe later on, I will uh, teach you what we can do in those days where this is where you can make the most money up and down. And there is a lot of tricks when... Uh, when the market uh, like this, uh, you have to be very fast and um, you have to be extremely fast and um, you have to be light handed. And um, there is uh, many ways you can take advantage of, of uh, uh, the system and uh, put your limited orders before the news comes out actually. But um, now things is a little bit going up and down and uh, until we find a direction and um, let me, sorry, I'm totally trying to pack for what I was doing and I'm trying at the same time covering everything here. Extremely busy today. Okay. You can see how fast this market change in directions. And uh, this is where the swing trading is not going to miss any trades. We have a new signal on the 30 year treasury bond. The market is like a yo-yo right now. It's going to go up and down until they analyze everything. And, and then we're going to monitor the, uh, the, the auto trades, see how they're going to work. Just give it five minutes, guys, so let it kick in. You can see on the fast market, uh, the scalpers, you should never, this is one thing you have to understand, you should never uh, use a scalping on a fast market, never. Because uh, it's not, the scalpers are made uh, like uh, earlier today in the previous video, where the market is a little bit slow and, and the market that will give a small doors open, closing in and out. But on a very fast market, you should never scalp the market. You should be swing trading the market. So uh, this is a very important to, uh, to understand that um, even uh, during the daytime, uh, like uh, when the market's open, maybe you need to pose your scalpers uh, for 10 minutes until things comes down uh, because the scalpers require slow movement otherwise you're gonna get beat with the uh, with the slippage on a fast market any kind of auto trade folks on the news you're gonna bump into slippage and uh, the biggest slippage i saw last year uh, i think it was last year uh, when the Brits got out of the EEC, the European Union, 
and uh, the slippage on the any kind of auto trade was up to five and ten ticks and that is a disaster so uh, you have to be careful uh, if you wanted to to scalp the market uh, you should not scalp the market on the news however if you wanted to um, uh, you wanted to auto trade on a big event or a big uh, uh, news then we need to swing trading the reason why we want to swing trading because we can give away a couple of three ticks in the slippage but we are looking for a bigger trade so this is where uh, we are looking for right now so let me uh, try to find uh, we have not kicked in yet if we look at the three minutes, I love that. I really love that. Uh, if we notice on the the three minutes, the swing trading, we have a short at 29.75. And because of the, the news now, uh, when the market turn around, and this is a three minutes, this is a really uh, important, uh, it is a very, a very good time frame the three minutes and the five minutes and if you notice uh, when the market turned around it was immediately close with just a couple ticks you see that that you're not gonna find on those kind of automated trading where you need to sit down for six months and optimize and all this and you need to set up uh, the trading stop and the stop loss and and all this because this one here immediately has uh, took around so what we wanted to do we want to see uh, how this uh, system function today we have seen how uh, the system worked when when uh, the market was sloppy going all around and it was no volume because in the FOMC day so I come back right now to see how when the market is really uh, hidden how is the system reacting uh, to all those uh, new data? Uh, one thing uh, you should know that when uh, there is a very va fast moving data, uh, if you are reading right now on the NASDAQ uh, uh, 7650 uh, on the NASDAQ, it could be right now at the, on the floor, total different numbers. So when, when the, the bridge uh, try to when they got out of the EEC. Uh, I'm one of the guys close ninja trader and got ready because a lot of traders they jump into very fast market. And when you jump into very fast market, what you're reading on your chart is late. Even if you have a real time data, it is late. It is late milliseconds where. It's going to make a huge difference uh, on you. If you want to make a decision, uh, that is going to uh, give you, uh, uh, by the time you make a decision, the market is somewhere else. So those, um, you, will, um, you will find out immediately uh, once you start diving in to those uh, um, troubled markets. And uh, now if we look at the NASDAQ uh, on the one minute and immediately uh, you can see those here where I started and and those are before the news. And then now there we go. We have a lift off on this one here. And then every single auto trade is going to have a lift off. And there we go, folks. And now it starts shining like a Christmas tree. This is this is where I like to show you a new signal, Russell, a new signal, 6E. Now we just, like what I said, this market is going to throw money at you. Uh, I mean, anything you touch right now, ES, $500. So those guys, they sit on the side, they know that, and they try to fool you at the end of the day. Uh, because of the two o'clock but you will never see those guys coming before two o'clock 
like what we have done today and show our system when the market was flat. We can show this market when the market was making money and the market is moving. And we can show you here uh, that because of this market moves, there is no way out. It's going to hammer with money and it's going to hammer with takes. And those auto trades, they will never miss a trade. The swing trading will never, never miss a trade. Never. Not unless if you have an internet connection or something. So uh, today you will find a lot of guys come out on a YouTube and, and uh, trying to show off after two o'clock, but none of them will show you. There is a new signal on the YM, by the way. Let me move this one out of the way. Uh, but nobody will show you like what we have done, uh, showing you that um, um, there is a new signal, entry price 616, and the market is flying uh, to, there we go. That's what we've been waiting on. This is what your lucky day on the FOMC day to sit away from the market and is right in front of you, $1,000 on a trade on an FOMC day. Anything you touch is going to hit $1,800. Uh, this is where uh, most of us uh, today, I didn't have even time to take advantage of it. Uh, we have a lot of... Uh, We've been extremely busy, uh, but uh, on an FOMC day, uh, this is your lucky day where you should go on a full speed. And if, I mean, you know me, for the guys, they know me, I'm a very conservative trader, but uh, on a day like this, go two contract, three contract, four contract, because those are the days where you're going to be making the most money. So, guys, this is what I'm sharing with you right now. And um, uh, and uh, I will leave you to it. And you can see uh, how well uh, they are functioning and how uh, that swing trading is not going to leave or is not going to miss any trade. There we go. No matter what you do, NASDAQ, Dow Jones, YM, CL, DAX, uh, DAX is already 577. You're not going to miss a trade. You are not going to miss a trade, that's for sure. So, guys, uh, this is what we have. And um, I'm going to stay uh, for a few seconds, uh, for a few minutes, I'm sorry, uh, to, to watch this market and uh, we can cover uh, the market. And uh, uh, this is where uh, uh, I like to cover a little bit more uh, another day when, um, uh, when um, how we can handle the, uh, uh, when we have the news with the feds, how you can take advantage of it. And believe me or not, with the auto trades uh, like this on the swing trading, um, you, you're not able to uh, overwrite or you're not able to trade as fast as the auto trade. This is where the auto trades start shining and uh, they start making sense. Uh, the only problem it is when you are auto trading and the market is a flat, you don't know what to do. Uh, this is the trader's problem sometimes, but uh, this is uh, this is really, really, uh, no matter what you do with those auto trades on an FOMC day, you cannot go wrong with it. So, guys, I'm, I'm going to uh, put you on hold for a while. I have very important business to finish, and um, and uh, I will be with you. Uh, anything, anything you want, we have. We are covering uh, uh, NASDAQ. Uh, we are covering ES. Uh, we can cover uh, YM. Anything you want is is going to the right direction, and uh, they're all getting something really, really nice. This pullback because uh, the market is going fast a little bit, but let me get this one out of the way so you can see how uh, this market is functioning and how your auto trades are really 
uh, doing extremely well and uh, this is who I am I mean what you gonna do it's all there and you can see from ninja trader controllers they all get in a high numbers um, I don't know how much I can put in this chart but uh, we're gonna leave it as is and um, and um, and uh, I will be quiet for a few minutes and I'll be right back Uh, for the CL, I apologize. I forgot you about the CL. Here is your CL. Look, uh, the CL took a small trade here. I mean, you know, and then we we slammed when the market uh, on the CL, we slammed it. And then uh, when the, the CL started going on the wrong direction, uh, we just nailed it. So I also, if you wanted to see it, or you, this is your right to see CL. So this is CL, NASDAQ, ES, what is this nasdaq why am no matter what you're touching like what i said today no matter what you're touching on um, this is your your best day to stay on the side till the news come out and then hammer it as much as you can go on a full throttle on those days because this is your lucky day you cannot go wrong with it if you are auto trading let the auto trade uh do the job for you because the market is moving. If the market is moving, the auto trade is gonna kick ass. That's it, you know. So, okay, I'll be right back. Thank you.
beautiful traits. And uh, if we wanted to look at the, uh, the signal entry, the automated uh, signal, and now we start uh, going up and uh, within an hour time, you will see we are up to four or 500 ticks on this one here. And I'm gonna be staying with you and uh, trying to finish my work for today. After 16 hours, I like to relax. It's a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> It's not going to stop on those trades. Now the market start coming down and uh, we have on the from the uh, trading uh, from the swing trading, we have the ES325, ES2, 275, 180. The market start coming down a little bit. And now we can see the scalpers, they start kicking in because the market starts slowing down. You should never use uh, the scalper on a, a big event or a big news. You should hold on on those scalpers until uh, the market come down because you are scalping the market, you should never use the scalping on the news. There is a filter on the scalpers that you can turn it off five minutes or 10 minutes before the news, it goes automatic, and then start trading, let's say five minutes after or so, uh, they can do that. Uh, so on the uh, ES and the NASDAQ, uh, they all now this one close. It will be taking another trade on the first pullback. Uh, what is this one? A YM is going up, and uh, now you can see uh, start the scalpers uh, moving back. And actually, um, let me. So the recovery times comes in uh, in no time on the scalpers, and now it will recover immediately uh, from uh, those trades. Uh, we have uh, the YM and uh, we have the ES. Uh, if you want uh, my opinion on the ES, uh, let me see what we can do. I have a CL here. Uh, Uh, those are your zone. Also, if you if you're not an auto trader, uh, if we look on the even on a fast market, this is a one minute ES. You can see how this market projected uh, from those uh, lines, and now we are going back to test the 29.34.75. And then uh, uh, those here now, the ES is a climbing uh, to test those numbers here. So uh, for the ES, if you are trading the ES uh, trade, uh, we are combining those on the chart here. This is the swing trading. And um, so we know right now on the fast market, it is always nice to look at the clean chart to see where this uh, ES fiction to go back and retest those numbers. And uh, the ES is climbing to the 3475. Guys, 
you know, it is all, always nice and it is much easier for me to come at the end of the day and say, look how much the CL made and the ES made and a brag about a couple of charts. But if you want to take those trades to another level, this is not the way it goes, even if you are auto trading, you know. So to be aware what's going on, uh, uh, it is a total different than uh, to sit down and brag about a couple of charts, honestly. Um, now I want to show you, even if I'm auto trade, I can use the button here on the top and to say close position. And if I see and protect it, if we notice right now, uh, the ES is coming to the projection at 3450 and a double resistant. So I know immediately that ES is going to have a problem. And then I need to keep my eye on it and look at this. So look at this, look, look, look how this ES come in exactly to this projection at 3450. And now it starts sliding down. You see that? So don't let anyone take that away from you. If you are not educated enough, <laughs> you will never be able to auto trade. You've never been able to protect your profit. It's not about numbers. It's not uh, later on become numbers, but uh, doing this process, it's not ignition lift off and we are on the moon. And uh, this is misleading the traders, misleading the rights the trader to understand what's going on in the market. This is uh, the trader's right to know how things work. And that's what we're trying to accomplish here. Why that auto trade making tons of money? Why is it projecting from here? How we can uh, 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 do the maximum profit and stay away when they cannot be traded. Right now, this ES is flirting with that area here. And, and, and this is where you need to keep your eye on it not to just the numbers on an auto trade. They become irrelevant, the numbers on the auto trade, if you don't know how things work. In. It's exactly like you're flying an airplane, you only know how to switch an autopilot on, but if God forbid, if something goes on in the airplane, you don't know what to do, you're gonna crash. And this is exactly, guys, it's like you are flying an airplane. If you just know how, if you just know where to turn the, the autopilot on, you're not going to be pilot and you will never be pilot, not today, not tomorrow. You can brush me off what I'm saying at the end of the day, next year, next 10 years, you're going to come back and remember what I have said. There is no easy out, guys. There is no easy out. A little information about trading uh, does not mean uh, uh, you know, you should not get your feeling hurt by looking at the chart and see what's going on in the chart beside those numbers, beside those numbers. Those numbers, they are, they are nothing if you don't know how things works in the market. Very simple. They mean nothing. And you're going to find out the hard way. On the signal entry, we still uh, we have a little pullback uh, and uh, it's climbing to to our levels and we will see the outcome on this one here and if we notice right now from 500 dollars a trade on the es now we are half of it you see why why because we did not bother to look at the chart you see now what is going on with the es the ES now got stuck between those two lines. And uh, God help us if this one goes below this number. And there we go. Look where it stays. Look, it's like a clock, folks. It's like a clock. Look at this. You know, look. Give me system can do that for you. Look. Came here, fell, coming back here, retesting this area, and now it's sitting like a yo-yo here, uh, trying to find an exit. 
trying to find a breakout or a breakout. And if this one goes down, God help us. Why? Because we have another support. Now the market starts slowing down. It's not like when the news. And now uh, we have a projection uh, to uh, 28.75. That is going to be a headache. So for me, I prefer to see, look how this market, look how this ES getting stuck between those two lines, trying to find an exit. You see how this ES trying to find an exit? Now he's going to bump into this problem and that problem right there. So by using swing trading, automated trading, now I understand where I am in that trade. From $500, now I'm start losing uh, momentum on that trade. And now we are getting into chop market. So this is something you really you need to, uh, there is a new signal on the YM right now. A new signal on the YM sell, uh, 26,576. Target is uh, 26. Uh, I'm sorry, it's been a long day. Uh, 6518. There's a new signal. Sell order on the YM. Okay. Uh, so, you know, at the end of the day, I'm a little bit like a smoke coming out of my ears. Let me go back again to the ES trying to show you how things work. If we notice right now, this ES is getting stuck between those two. It's getting tighter and tighter. And now we are trying to find an exit. We're trying to find a breakout, folks. You see? So this is really, really amazing. Uh, once you have a little knowledge, it's going to be making a difference in your trade. So let's look at the signal, um, if there's any, any new signal in there. Right now on the uh, entry signal, we have 129 base on one contract. Extremely fast. Amazing. Again, I would like to show you the ES. got stuck on the same line and now start getting tighter we need to break out this area here so this is a perfect for a scalping but not swing trading anymore we're done doing this breakout look at what happened on the es with the system here look how it came into this res resistance line then we have a pullback a re-entry on the news, we can see how the the resistance was become irrelevant. Got projected, pulled back on the support, going back higher, and then it got projected, pulling back, projection coming back. Is always always the same story again and again. This is a very very accurate. Now we are having a breakout to the downside. And that means we are going diving into a lot of problems here. Let's see. Let's see what will happen to, with the ES. Uh, on the uh, entry signal, uh, we have uh, 137, 127 takes. Uh, the ES uh, is uh, hanging on this level. Look, it's hanging on this level here. First, we had a problem here, and now we're having another problem here, and then we're going to have another problem at the 29.29. So this is... Um,
a new signal on the ES, a new signal on the ES sell at the 29.30, target 29.24. A new sell entry on the ES, you can see it as a 29.30 entry price, target 29.24. Okay. Let's go in your direction. Once we cross, uh, it's going to your direction. Once once we cross the 29 level on the ES, uh, actually you're home free for a very drop. And probably uh, the, the, the drop is going to be to 2450, guys. So once we get out of that area here, we are on that trade. And uh, I'll be very happy if those traders made some uh, I know some, uh, they're going to be very happy with it. There we go. You are a new signal on the NASDAQ sell at, uh, I'm sorry, guys, uh, we're not allowed to call live trade, so follow me on a sim, please. 43.50 as an entry price, uh, target is uh, 623.50. Here it is. Uh, an entry price at 643.50, sell on the NASDAQ, sell direction, 643.50, target 623.75. And we are getting it, we are a home free almost on the ES, we need this bar to close below that number. And then we are looking for a very good um, and now look, after we, we, the market starts slowing down, you can see the scalpers start kicking ass again. You see why? Because this market has come down a bit. So now the, you can start scalping the market again, and, uh, it will be very nice to trade. So right now we are seven ticks on the ES from the entry signal and we have 11 ticks uh, on, the, on it. So that will give you, if you follow in on one trade, uh, you start kicking in with the green. And uh, you see here, where's the problem with the ES? I wanted to see one bar close below that area. So if we are able to do that, we're going to be a home run to the 24.25, actually. Uh, the system said the target is 23.75. Uh, 23.75. The auto trade want to exit at 23.75. Uh, I will not go 23.75. I will go 24.50, folks. 24.50. Uh, this is a manual 24.50. The auto trade is telling you to exit at... 24.25. Wait a minute. I'm the one who's eating banana today. It is right. Because uh, 24.25 is right there. Yes. Yes. 24.25, guys. Exit. 24.50 exit. It's very fine. Uh, uh, the target is 24.25. That's very good. Yes. This is right. And uh, I hope somebody... Uh, made money out of, oh yes, yeah, 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 yeah. okay, there we go, you have 13 ticks on that trade, and, and, oh, Jesus, 
Okay. 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 Take it easy. Holy no. All right. So uh, let's see. Uh, we are going to get to this area 2450. Exit at 2450, folks. And we have a new signal on the DAX, but I would not trade DAX right now. Uh, the DAX, uh, we have an entry at uh, 3575 and an exit at 3375. So I would not trade the DAX right now, folks. Uh, this one here. No, this is a YM, actually. This trade with the YM. I thought it was the ES. Oh, okay. Here is the ES. Yes, this is the ES. Okay, you see what is the target says on the system. Uh, 20, this is a very genuine uh, target, folks. So a little pulled back, but this is a very nice, genuine target. So keep it at that target. Uh, YM. Uh, okay. And let me get this one here. I don't know how to do all this, but uh, you got the picture. So let's uh, keep it uh, simple, guys. Um, um, at the NASDAQ, ES, YM, there is no new signal right now. A little pullback. So we're going down again on the YM, and uh, most likely we are going again on the ES. Uh, what else we have? There is no other signal, guys, so we'll stay on those. If I see any new trade or a new contract, it will, we will be more than glad uh, to show you those. <clears throat> um, the pullback on the ES should not scare you. Uh, this is where was the projection at 28.75. Don't let it scare you for now. We still insisting on the target 24.50 uh, on the ES. Okay, guys, uh, that's all what we have for today. And, uh, okay, I'll stay a little bit to make sure everything is okay. Uh, we have the YM 25 ticks, a little pullback on the NASDAQ, and uh, uh, the ES is going to hit this target for you. I want to stay with you till you hit this target. And the YM is going to hit the target. Uh, the target is very fine on the YM, 529 exit, that's very fine on it. So let's see. So we called uh, the DAX, ES, NASDAQ, Dow Jones, and I don't remember. Yes, and the 30-year Treasury bond, we called it in the, in the last uh, half an hour. And uh, we will uh, make sure this uh, ES go into the same direction as expected at, 29, at 2450, exiting at 2450. 
and uh, the um, YM uh, uh, try to exit at uh, 6529. Uh, don't go all the way down to the 6518 on it. And let me see if I can find any other charts. Um, This is slowing down a bit, but we're gonna get it. Here we go. And um, this is your ES. Uh, we're going straight to this uh, 2450 and The YM, nothing wrong with it, the YM. There we go, guys. Congratulations. You're coming to the YM and you're coming to the ES. And now the NASDAQ turn around to the our entry point. And then this is... Uh, 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 this is... Um, there we go. And um, I don't remember, guys, which one I called and which one I did not. Uh, the video is going to be there. Uh, maybe I may made a mistake with one. Please don't get me wrong. Uh, I've, been, uh, I've been trying to cover a lot of things. Uh, go back to the video and you can see the new signals come out and you can retry, uh, retract uh, everything on the video. I little bit of stress here i have a tons of work and the same time i'm trying to uh, cover a little bit for the traders i promised to come in today and uh, at two o'clock and uh, there is a new signal on the 30-year treasury bond uh, the new signal is a buy when we have the new signal as a buy on a treasury bond that's mean your es is going to drop Entry price 4010, exit is uh, it's not much 4021, but that will do the the job. Um, uh, so uh, I have a tons of uh, messages on the Skype. I'm sorry, guys, I cannot respond to any messages right now. Um, uh, I'm trying to. I'm really sorry, but you don't know what what a mess I am because I was working and then find out it was two o'clock so i rushed with it and uh, so but uh, you can go back on this video and see where all the new signals came out uh i wanted to to finish this so uh let me uh, i'm not reading the skype but when the somebody sent me uh, a message on the skype i only can read the headlines on it so I'm not in details uh, reading uh, all the chats on the Skype right now. Uh, let me look what's going on with the, the ES. Um, uh, there is a little pullback, guys. On um, uh, okay, there is a little pullback, folks. Uh, that's all what we have for today. Uh, thank you very much. You got all the messages. You got all the targets. You got all the new signal. It was right in front of you. And uh, uh, I apologize. I'm in a big mess, so my my head is not clear. To uh, and uh, we will see you tomorrow at ten o'clock a.m. Eastern time on the YouTube. And uh, we will uh, try to uh, cover a little bit more details tomorrow. God bless you all. Thank you very much for coming back at two o'clock and uh, uh, wish you really happy trading and uh, see you tomorrow uh, at uh, 10 o'clock Eastern time on the same channel. You're very welcome, guys. Bye.